Alex, okay, are you... are you back to normal? I just saw... it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Okay. I guess they're fine. For them. What does- Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. All right. See you after, at the bomb shelter. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in, uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting eleven in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? To be fair here, I really only understood, like, six, uh, twelfths of the whole scheme, so... Six twelfths. Well, that's better than me. I just kind of wish that I felt like these ghosts were just a little concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like, they know by sunrise they're all going to be shopping for school supplies. Jonas, they should be concerned. They should be scared. And that's on them if they're not. All right, good to hear. I think that this, um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here.
J Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. I can't believe you even made Look, it. Look, Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. This is nothing. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> Ugh, not this again. We're in another time maze thing. Ugh, okay. We were due. It's been like a minute since the last one. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. Ren! No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... How? I, I mean, yeah, we just saw you. How, how did this happen? He... He drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is particularly done. Fix Ren, whatever you want to call it. I know you're doing it. Just fix it! It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to, but the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you sh A proposition? L like what? It's already over, Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. 
We only really need the one anyway. No, no, no way. I'm saving everyone. Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? He was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. No, no, really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so if he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He knew, Nona. Don't worry. He knew. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. But thanks, Alex. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... My mouth feels like I just ate a... tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? Anybody? Jonas? How are you? Jonas? Punch out if you can hear this. Uh, beats me. I mean, there has to be, like, Seriously, a switch on there the or something to control Jonas, the, uh, don't listen. talk box. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're you doing? You know what I mean. The yeah, thing let's do with it. the... Right. Radio locked. Time's a waste. keep wasted. forgetting this thing is that. Like, okay, actually I to wasted. It. Like, I feel my body wasted away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that No, it was the... It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost, doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like... 
It was high. Believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it's uh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have a last word? Over is good enough. Over now. emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Otherwise, stay on the line, and we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Everyone just shut up. You can play dress-up phone time when you get home. We got work to do. All right, Mr. No Fun. No fun? What is that? Swedish? Man, you guys are a real comedy team here. Stunning. The wit on display. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Dear Mr. Jordan, couldn't we have him reborn? Oh no, come on, Jonas, don't turn freaky now. Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... I think it's like Reset. Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, uh... uh 
like it's scary, needless to say, when I like drown or whatever in my own body and it's starting to feel like just like how do I say this? Cause I don't wanna It's okay. This isn't like a big just thing. on your brain. I just wanna say I just I think it would have been cool us living together for for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. Oh, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, all right, that's all, nothing to see here. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no, you don't have to put it like, it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But you know, you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. What concert? It wasn't. You can't call it a concert. It was like an all-day, all-night, like festival with tents and like a hundred bands. I don't care if it hit a million bands, Alex. Ashley had stolen her mom's car to go, and I know you say you didn't know that, which whatever, but. You still knew mom and dad had barred you from going. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons. Just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. That sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. But you, you know what I mean. Wow, big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on Easy Street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. You were... are great, though, and... and you're gonna be great whatever you do. I'm sure of it. You got spunk, kid. Yeah, well... <laughs> uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Huh, that's actually, <laughs> that's not bad. 
<laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Alex? Stop it. Just stop. Ugh. You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is... It's just like a trial period, like buying a used car that I can already tell is missing a lot. What? I know. I'm cool. So don't get, like, overly excited. I'm not excited. This is just... this is how I normally stand. Hey, secret secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. What is it? Reveal yourselves. We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked. Right? You asked? Ugh. Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one day at the Revival Theater. We're just going to sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. Hey, one man's depressant is another chick's upper. Aw, how cute. Riviera's a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Good. I'm glad. This is... I mean, at the very least I'll get to hear embarrassing stories, so... I... I want to get this off my chest. Just something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No, I just, I don't know. Well, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what else to say, really. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. This is stupid, but can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. Be back. Oh, I know. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse, actually. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. 
Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard this one? Mm, no clue. Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, it's not one of my fun. It's... It feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads, I don't know if this place would have held up. Wait, it's... Oh, damn, it's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Just get out of here. Don't talk like that, all right? Nothing's going to happen. There's no way this ends like that. We won't let it. I'm not asking. I'm telling. Okay, Mr. Dramatic. Will you just shut up and help me with the door? Wait, 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 okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on before we head in okay, there. Okay, if it'll make you feel better, we'll investigate the case of Jonas's mom's weird song before we save our lives. Sounds perfect. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? It's, it sounds like it's her, like a recording, or it's just, it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that. The voice, right? I can kind of hear it. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's, like, it could be, right? It's just, w with everything that's happened, she could have come here. Or, like found me or knew I was in trouble or God, she's like so close you can just can you just try and tune in the signal mom whoa uh Jonas wait Jonas I need you come back come <sighs> You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. Then just leave then. Why are you... Why are you still here? Why not move on of all of them? Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. I can imagine it, okay? You think contemplating annihilation makes you special? What you can imagine is a toddler's toy bag compared to facing real extinction. Don't speak to us of imagination. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Cheryl. 
Make your turn. Is anybody... Can anybody hear me? Clarissa? Maybe? Jonas? Are you... Are you in here somewhere? Anybody? Clarissa? Guess not. to close the hole. I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, all right? <laughs> okay, well, it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your, your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die with us again and again. So think long and hard about those friends. Well, it'd be an alright way to go if it meant saving some people you care about. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know, through the gate you opened. And we keep the girl. Oh, getting started already, okay. You want to push it with the void? Fine. We can see how long you stay on the throttle. Just don't blink. Oh, you don't want this. Then get out of everybody and I'll stop. It's everyone or nothing, girl. Understand your situation and accept it. You don't even comprehend why this is happening, do you? They sent warships after us. Like we were the... The fifth column. It's... Alexandra, wake up. This course of action will only save those morons, not yourself. Don't you understand? This isn't the road you want to be on. You can't talk me out of this, all right? We can feel this binding. You have maybe just a few moments left. We feel terrible, we do, but but you have to wait. Just work through it.
tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? what's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... How, how is this possible? What's going on? Well, that could have gone better. Right. Time loop. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, I'm... Th this is our house. I'm not. I can't play Amnesia Spy Girl right now. Seriously, pretend to snap Ren's neck on your own time. I've been, like, struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Graduation speech, is that what we're talking about? Aw, oh, man, you haven't been listening at all. It's okay, this is really boring. I'm guessing Mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What? That's great. Congratulations. I, I mean, that that's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I have bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. I'm listening. Come on. I'm not going to judge. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I aren't talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and, and just doing our own thing, you know? Getting... Oh, wow, that's... that's exciting. This is like a huge deal, like... Like the boxcar children version of getting married or something. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so... There's some level of, uh, vow there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and, uh... I'm into the idea. I really am. I just... I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm alright to do this? I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but... You should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Michael, what is... What's this for? What, what are you doing? This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you, too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. 
Is she alright? Are we... Uh, in ghost heaven? I think that's just called heaven, sweetheart. But no, we're not. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. That's... I'm... I'm glad. I'm sorry. I'm just... I was back. I fell back a few years during the whole thing, and... I just saw Michael again. That's all. So, I'm just a little rattled right now. You... saw Mike? What happened? What... what was it like? Well, wait... Yeah, okay, relax. Everybody, just... I just talked to him. He, He was there in the... whatever was happening. We talked about his future and what he wanted to do. It was... something. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, it's... I'm sure it was rough. No, it was, um, it was good to see him. It was good. He looked good. He looked, um, himself. I had my older sister. It was a night where I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom, but I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. I... I don't think it's like a visit, like it's making a, a conscious choice to come mess with you. You were just exhaled somewhere, time-wise. Yeah, I guess the universe doesn't choose to do anything. It just does. I can't believe everything that happened. I just, I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... I think we'd sound nuts, honestly. I, I mean, it's not like, it's not like we have any proof any of this actually happened. Hey, is this your book? Oh man, this is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay, slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, Prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even have punch? Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. Oh, come on, what? We earned this one. (sighs) Yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just, like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, didn't you- Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually, though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long-distance thing, I guess. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog, too, if you care.
Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. It's funny, what happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day, and then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's, I don't know, it's good, I think. But anyways, I, um, well, if it matters. I decided to stay in town and go to college here. It's practically up the road, and I just wanted something familiar, I guess. But anyways, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Run's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing, and I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? <laughs>